Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel. Principle of Infrared Spectroscopy Infrared spectroscopy is an analytical tool that is useful in determining the structure of an organic molecule, particularly in identifying the functional groups. Infrared radiation is an electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation is a wave, having certain amount of energy which is propagated through free space, or through a material medium. During the propagation of the electromagnetic wave, both electric, and magnetic fields, are spread perpendicular to each other, along the direction of wave propagation. The wavelength range of infrared radiation is 800 nanometers to 1000 micrometers, the frequency range is 10 to the power of 14 to 6 into 10 to the power of 12 hertz, and the energy range is 2 into 10 to the power of minus 22 to 3 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joules. Atoms that are bonded in a molecule may be considered as the balls, and the bond between the atoms as an elastic spring. There will be continuous rotations and vibrations in a molecule. These vibrations may be stretching or bending. Different types of molecular vibrations are stretching and bending. Stretching vibrations can be symmetrical or asymmetrical. Bending vibrations can be in plane bending vibrations or out of plane bending vibrations. In plane bending vibrations can be scissoring or rocking. Out of plane vibrations can be wagging or twisting. A particular bond vibrates with a characteristic frequency, which is called as the natural frequency. When light of same frequency falls on such molecule, it will be absorbed by that molecule. It should be noted that stretching of a bond requires more energy than bending. Therefore, Frequencies due to stretching absorptions of a bond, will have higher values, compared to, bending absorption frequencies. The vibrational frequency of a bond, can be calculated, by the following equation. Where, nu is the frequency, and, k, is the, force constant. In this context, the force necessary, to generate, unit extension, or, unit compression, of a bond is, force constant. Force constant, can be understood as, the stiffness of a bond. Higher the force constant, stronger will be the bond. Hence, higher will be the frequency of absorption. The stretching frequency of, C single bond C, will be less than, C double bond C, as the later bond, is a stronger bond, has, higher force constant. Similarly, C single bond O, has, less starching frequency, compared to, C double bond O. The order of, stretching frequencies of, C triple bond C, C double bond C, and, C single bond C, is in the following order. Because, the bond strength of triple bond is, more than, double bond, which is in turn, more than, single bond. M1, and, M2, are the masses, of two atoms, involved in the bond. M1, into, M2, divided by, M1, plus, M2, is called as, reduced mass, and is represented by, mu lesser the reduced mass greater will be the frequency the stretching frequency of ch bond will be more than cc bond as the reduced mass of ch bond is less than cc bond the wave number of absorbed radiation can be calculated by the following equation Nu bar, is the wave number, of the absorbed radiation. C, is the velocity of light. 
a vibrating heteroatomic molecule can generate, a fluctuating dipole. The two essential conditions for the absorption of IR radiation by a molecule, or by a bond, are that, its natural frequency of vibration should be equal to the frequency of IR radiation, and the vibrating molecules should have the oscillating dipole, in order to interact with the electric component of IR radiation. A molecule may have dipole moment, by virtue of the difference in the electronegativities, of the constituent atoms, like HCl. Alternatively, certain vibrations in a molecule may induce a dipole moment, as in carbon dioxide. When IR radiation is passed through a molecule that is fluctuating dipole moment, the electric component of the molecule interacts, couples, with electric component of the IR radiation, and, if the natural frequency of vibration, vibrational frequency, of the molecule, or the bond, is equal to the frequency of the IR radiation, then only the absorption of IR radiation takes place. For example, consider a functional group CX. Let the stretching frequency of the CX bond be 100 Hz. This means that CX bond vibrates, 100 times in a second. If we irradiate such CX bond, with radiations having frequencies of 90 Hz, 100 Hz and 110 Hz, only the radiation having the frequency 100 Hz is absorbed, while the other radiations are transmitted. Different functional groups absorb different frequencies of IR radiation, hence give different absorption peaks. Depending upon the peak position, the functional group can be identified. An IR spectrum is a graph, plotted with absorbance, or transmittance, on the y-axis, against wave number on the x-axis. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.